I discovered there were a couple lots that, that my ex-wife didn't know that we owned down on South E Street. And I built a couple of duplexes there, they're still sitting there. I just finished one house on one of those lots. There were three lots overlooked, so I, I started those. Then, uh, then I um, uh, uh, found that property on Brookside where, you, where now Gayla Barron lives there. Um, and uh, I started uh, houses there. Uh, there were, as I recall, was about eight or ten acres there. Yeah, and, uh, well, uh, when I built Brookside, I wanted, I couldn't wait to get my name on a street. So I put my name on Cotting Drive, which is probably the shortest street in Santa Rosa. It's only three houses long, I think, maybe four or five. Uh, but then um, on the next street, I think I made a bishop. And uh, there was already a Hughes Street, if I'm not mistaken, so I couldn't put, I couldn't put my first name on there. So, when we went to uh, Montgomery Village, it was owned by um, Farmers Lane. Was owned uh, the first 31 acres, I recall, was uh, owned by the Hammon family. We bought the property of the Hammon family, and then we encouraged the Catholic Church by uh, going down and seeing Monsignor Collins in San Francisco. Uh, we paid 1,500 an acre for, for where Montgomery Village, the original village is. And then the church paid 1,700 an acre where St. Eugene's is. Then the Critters owned the property on the south side of uh, Sonoma Avenue, and that they charged us the exorbitant price of, I think, 2,500 an acre. Uh, Bill and uh, Don Critters. And we bought that. Then we bought the Harley Orchard out there. It was 91 acres, and I think that was like 1,700 an acre, and I remember Ralph Stone, Eli Destrell, and Hearst Niles came up with the money for us to buy it, and, and uh, then we paid them off as we developed the lot. So that was the nucleus of Montgomery Village, uh, was right there.